Okay, so now what we're going to take a look at is we're going to affect what are the effect on the mean and standard deviation and variance if the die adds 10 to each value. So what that's talking about is if we imagine this die here, we take it back with me. If I imagine that die, and on this die, as opposed to be there being one dot, I'm going to add 10 more dots in here. So there would be 11 on top. The four, the four would end up being 14. This would be 12 and so on. So I add 10 to each value. What's the effect going to be on the mean and the deviation of the die? Well, let's think about this. If I go here, I'm going to go to, let's just add 10. So that's going to be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So think about that. What's the effect going to be on the mean and the standard deviation? Mean is similar to like the center. Standard deviation is about the spread, how far apart the numbers are. And if I go now to stat, and I'm going to calculate one variable statistics, my list is actually L3 now. My frequency list is still L2. And if I calculate it, I end up with these values here. And if I look at, this is for the six-sided, the regular one to six die. Let's compare that. To here, well, my mean is 10 higher, exactly 10 higher. Went to 13.5. The standard deviation is exactly the same. Hmm. If we try it for, also, if we do it for, let's say we do it for, we add 12 dots. So that's going to be 1 plus, would be 12 and 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Think about how that is going to affect these values. And if I go back to my calculate, and now I have 14.5. And so what I can say is that the mean of the expectation increased the standard deviation stay the same. So if I think about, <coughs> excuse me, if I think about here are my dots, this dot I'm going to add 10 to it, I'm going to be here. And all these dots will end up being, for this first where I add 10 to each, these dots. The mean is going to be changed, add 10, but the standard deviation, the spread, has not changed. So. When we added numbers, the mean changed as we added. Standard deviation did not. Let's generalize that. So if we have an expectation of mean, standard deviation is sigma. And if I take my random variable z is equal to some random variable plus a constant a, well, then my expectation of z is going to be mu plus whatever a was. I'm going to add the 10. However, the variance, though, is going to be exactly equal to the variance of x, which is going to be the variance squared. And so the standard deviation of z will simply be the standard deviation sigma. Well, that was if we added 10 to each die. What happens if I multiply the sides of dice by 3? And so now I have the 1 becomes 3, the 2 would become a 6, the 3 would become a 9, and so on. Think about what's going to happen there, and we'll actually try and simulate this. So as opposed to being 1 is 3, 6, 9, 4 times 3 will be 12, 15, and 18. Now let's think about what's going to happen to my mean standard deviation, think about that, make a conjecture before I do it. All right, so let's do it. So if I'm going to calculate one variable statistics, those are all correct now. And my x bar 
is now 10.5 and my standard deviation is 5.1234 so they have both changed the initial one from last time was here was this value let's copy it and bring it over was these so 3.5 change to 10.5 well if I think about that if I go 3.5 times 3 oh, times 3.5 that is 10.5 the variance well here it's 1.7 well if I take one or sorry this is standard deviation 1.7 O oh, seven eight and I times it by three. You can see that this is the variance here, or the standard deviation here. So if I consider this now, if z is equal to b times x, the expectation is going to be b times the expectation of x, which was b mu. The variance, if I look at Oh, what I had for my variance, or standard deviation, well, that's simply going to be the variance of x times, or times, the b value squared. Because the standard deviation, I took this value and I times it by 3, and then I square this to get the variance. And so this is going to be the variance of z. Together, if we have them all together, I'm going to have this adds values, this multiplies, so it's going to be b times the expectation of x plus a. The variance, though, is going to be just b squared times the variance of x. There, do not add the a on the variance because the spread does not change. All right, so finally, let's do an example here. Insurance company sells term life insurance policy for 20 year period. The amount payable if death occurs is 75,000. The company actuary calculated the probability of the death for a 30 year old man over the next 20 years to be this probability. And the suitable premium for such is this. It's a one time fee. What's the insurance company expected to gain if it sells one of these policies to a 30 year old man and the variance as well? Well, there are really only two possibilities that could happen. Okay? The one possibility is the person lives and you get $2,000 from them. The second possibility is this person, this real old man, dies and so you have to pay out not 75000 but seventy-three, because you collected 2000 from them. So these are the possible outcomes and those are the only two possible outcomes. The probability associated with them, well, this is the probability of the man dying, 0 0.017. And so the probability of him living is 1 minus 0 0.017, which is 0 0.983. So if I want to find the expectation, the expectation is simply, I'm going to go to my calculator, I'll edit here, I'm going to move over to L1. Clear it, move over to L2, go on top of L2, hit clear and enter. And I'm going to go 2,000, negative 73,000. And my probabilities, enter, and my probabilities are going to be 0.983. Of course, my calculator would freeze. So I've unfrozen my calculator. I plug the values in, and then I'm going to go stat, calculate, one variable statistic, frequency list is L2. And my expectation is going to be $725. So for each person the company sells to, they expect to make $725. The variance of x is simply going to be this value here. 
9695.327, this value squared. So if I want to find that exact value, I go variables, statistics, number 4 squared, and that will give me this great big giant value here. And so 9399975 is the variance.